This is my video game list. If you're not down with that, I'll give you the Luigi diffs there. What up, big kids? It's my top 10 favorite video games of 2014. I just want to let you know that I don't have an Xbox One, so there's no Titanfall or Halo Master Chief Collection or Sunset Overdrive, anything like that. Also, don't have any PC games. I have an iMac, so... And uh, I didn't buy Destiny or uh, Dragon Age Inquisition or Dark Souls 2, even though I heard great things. So without further ado, here are my top 10 favorite video games of 2014. Number 10... South Park The Stick of Truth. I'm not the biggest South Park fan anymore. I haven't watched the show in years, but this game is hilarious. It really takes everything we know from RPG games and really just South Parkizes it, if that's the word. Anyway, it just feels like a full season of South Park. The gameplay is actually really fun. It, it, it's, this is how you do a TV show. It's like, it, like this is better than Popeye! Number nine! Little Big Planet 3. Even though this has a new developer, this game has the charm and uh, adorableness as the previous Little Big Planet games. I love the new characters that join Sackboy, the new gameplay mechanics. I love the world that people can create out of this adorable little big planet world it's just the cutest game on my list so much fun one of the best platformers number eight well that's just great watch dogs now even though this game didn't fully live up to the hype that we got in from years past it definitely was a fun open world game beautiful on the ps4 that i got on uh, i love all the hacking mechanics and it can cause so much chaos and the story is okay and uh, so is the protagonist but I absolutely love all the different things you can do in this world and there's just so many details and little touches that Ubisoft put in there that make a really awesome game. Number seven. Oh, this is a lucky one. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I absolutely love that this game rejuvenized the Call of Duty franchise for me. I love the protagonist played by Troy Baker and I love that Kevin Spacey, Golden Globe uh, and Oscar winning Kevin Spacey is in this game. And this game looks beautiful, definitely pushing next gen. I love the mechanics that they added to Call of Duty, making it more futuristic. A little bit of Halo, a little bit of Titanfall from what I heard. And it's just so cool and so much fun to play. I mean, I love first person shooters and this is definitely a game that's just so much fun. Get your fix on number six. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I absolutely love the Lord of the Rings franchise and I love playing in this world and I really love how they made it a beautiful world and it, but so gory. It takes the best elements of Batman Arkham games but definitely adds the kill streaks in there. It is just so awesome to explore Middle Earth and Mordor. It is just, uh, I absolutely love this game. Number five. Infamous Second Son. Now I love the Infamous franchise. I was so happy to see it on the next gen with, on PS4. I love the new protagonist played by Troy Baker. Destin is just so cool with all the neon, which was one of my favorites. And you know, I just love all the different new powers you get to explore and get to uh, play around in Seattle, which is awesome. And it's not a fictional town this time. It, if you want to be a superhero or you want to be a super villain, this is the game for you. Hope you're not sore. Here's number four. Far Cry 4. I love the Far Cry franchise and now seeing on next gen, oh, it's just, I love this open world that Ubisoft has created. It definitely was their best game this year. I mean, sorry, Assassin's Creed and the crew and even like Watch Dogs. I mean, this game is just, oh, it's just so fun to explore the jungles and watch out for birds and you know, stampede of elephants and uh, the antagonist played by Troy Baker. Once again, he's on this list a lot. Number three. Oh, so fancy. Mario Kart 8. The Wii U just came back strong this year with so many great games and this was one of them. This game is just everything you love about the Mario Kart franchise and just taken up to 11. Oh my god, it's the beautiful graphics. Just so much fun with the new mechanics. Oh my god, I played this game so much. Oh, it's just so fun and watch out for the Luigi diffs there. Number two. Oh, so close. Super Smash Brothers U. Oh my god. I'm surprised this game almost made the number one. I mean, a game that has brought one of the most beloved Nintendo franchises and he added beloved characters like Mega Man, Pac-Man, even like the Duck <laughs> Dog. Wow. I mean, there's so many characters from so many video game franchises that we love all these years. 
There's so much content on this. This would have been my game of the year, but with 8th player Smash, and it's just so chaotic. It's just like, what the hell is going on? But that's what we love about Super Smash Brothers. Number one! Bayonetta 2! Yes! I absolutely love the first Bayonetta game, a very underrated game, and Platinum Games took everything I love from that game and just made it even better. Wow, this is definitely, besides Super Smash Bros. Mario Kart 8, the reason to own a Wii U. So many great Wii U games, and this was just everything I love about gaming. I mean, it was so over the top and so colorful, so imaginative, and it's just, I love action adventure games. and. I, I had so much fun with this game. I absolutely love it. And I love that you got to dress Bayonetta as Star Fox and all these different Nintendo characters. It's so freaking awesome. I recommend this game to everyone. And that's my top 10 favorite video games of 2014. I did play Assassin's Creed Unity and Rogue, but I feel like Ubisoft, between the issues that, uh, at launch with all the glitches, and I just feel like uh, it didn't really bring the franchise forward like I wanted to. That's why it was in my top 10. It does have so fun gameplay elements. Big kids, what is your favorite video games of 2014? Which games do you recommend playing? Let me know in the comments below. Check out Rip the Pearl for cool video game themed shirts like the Flappy Bird, which was also didn't make my top 10 list. And check out more on my website at seanxlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, where live long and love life. If you think Flappy Bird should be on my top 10 list, well, this is my response. you to tell your friends about me. I'm Batman. I'm Purple Man. Wait, wait, that isn't right. At least it is white. Huh, good point. Nintendo said if I was all black, they couldn't see me on the screen. What? That's racist.